All right, so per you guys' request, I bought a pair of these Adidas uh, Boost sneakers. This is the Sense Boost Go, and I wanted to try them out and see how they were on feet. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the video. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys would like to shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description and happy shopping. Today we have this model right here, kind of a sleeper model from Adidas, uh, but actually there's quite a bit of people out there that really like these shoes. And this is the Sense Boost Go. It comes in the Adidas black box here, then says Sense Boost Go, M for male, and then the sizing on this is a 9.5, true to size for myself, which worked perfectly fine. So this is a $120 version of an Adidas Boost model, and it's a nice entry-level Boost shoe. I mean, honestly, it feels comfortable. The midsole is plentiful with Boost. You can see it's really wide track on the back here, and the upper is really minimal as well. At least on the version that I have, you have a nice knit uh, toe box section with some reinforcements on each side that are fused material, and then you have the laces that go underneath uh, the tongue section here. The tongue is also the same as a toe box, that knit material. And then the laces weave back and forth through the shoe up to the top. And then you have a, a large oversized pull tab here on the tongue. Then on the back section of the shoe, you have some kind of cheaper mesh with some three stripes that are fused on. Kind of cheap feeling, honestly. And then it rotates around and really looks kind of plain uh, all the way back through and around this side. But uh, there's some structure to here. There's a little bit extra reinforcement underneath uh, this section. And then you have some softer material for the liner of the shoe. Nothing premium feeling about any of this section here. This toe section is really nice though, and the midsole is really nice. On the bottom of the shoe, you have what looks similar to like the Adidas Ultra Boost with the style and the shape, but it's not continental rubber as it doesn't say that at least, but it is kind of a nice sticky little traction on the bottom of the shoe. And then you work your way on the inside and you can remove this and you actually are on a raw Adidas Boost on the insole of the shoe. So back in the day, the Pure Boost, which is the closest thing that I can compare this to, there's a couple of versions of Pure Boost, but the original ones um, had that, that same insole like that, and they were much more cushioned. And then the later version of the, the Pure Boost, it feels like a Pure Boost to me though, like the, the one that's carrying on the lineage. Um, the overall shape of it and everything is Pure Boost-like, especially with that midsole. But all in all, I'd say the upper is pretty cheap for $120. It's kind of like a letdown, especially since I know that you have tons of Adidas models out there that have tons of overlays over top of the shoe that are actually really, really nice materials. And this one's very, very minimalistic. And uh, if you're looking for something that's minimalistic, then that's not bad, but it just feels kind of cheap uh, with the way that they executed it, especially if this is actually made for a running shoe. All in all, it's a really comfortable shoe though from a casual perspective. It's just one of those shoes that you can wear around here and there and like your feet are gonna be happy no matter what. It's not the best one on the market by any means, but it's definitely one where it's a nice alternative to some of the more expensive shoes like the Ultra Boost 20s out there. This is a nice knockdown version for uh, 120, but even better if you can get it for like 50 bucks. So I would say worth buying on sale for sure. Maybe not for that full 120 when you can get other shoes that are knocked down to that 120 price point. Also, I point out the Ultra Boost 19s as much as I can. Those ones you can get usually on sale for that 126 price point. So you'd be much better off getting an Ultra Boost 19 than a pair of these for that retail price of 120. That's just my two cents though, but what do you guys think? Have you guys tried these out? If you guys have, leave some comments to let people know. It's kind of crazy because this feels like a great all around regular shoe. Uh, and it's sort of the way the electronics game is as well. Like TVs nowadays are so crazy good that even like the baseline low models are really good. Like you get 4K TVs with whatever refresh rates and everything else and, and a thin frame on the TVs and everything for really, really cheap prices. And some of them are much, much more premium. And then some of them are just the baseline models. This is like the baseline model, but it's still good if you get my, my drift. But that's, uh, that's my thoughts though on this. If you guys are interested in buying a pair, I'll link them in the description. I'll try to find some on sale as well. But uh, hopefully you guys have a good rest of the day. And subscribe if you guys are new to my channel. Notification bell to be notified of when my videos go live. Anyways, hopefully we'll see you guys again for some more videos very soon. Peace, guys.